have kids who don't know how to read. We have kids who can't do math. We have seniors graduating with as much knowledge as a third grade student. This is a disaster. Okay, let's address this video. So this person says that kids having trouble reading and doing math and they're graduating at a third grade level. Whose responsibility was it to make sure that those students were on track? It's the parents' responsibility. It's not the teacher's responsibility. The teacher did everything in their power to make sure that your kid was prepared, that those kids were prepared. But it's up to the parents to make sure that they're on their kids for doing that work. I remember talking about this on my podcast, the Anointed Adult Podcast, where we had people drive up to the school to pick up laptops and to pick up Chromebooks and to pick up hotspots because parents said they couldn't afford internet. They couldn't afford a computer for their kid. But at that very same time, COVID relief money was going out. And guess what I saw in the parking lot driving in? I saw parents driving in with brand new Toyota Tacomas, brand new SUVs, brand new cars, all with the dealer paper license plate still on it. Where did they get that money from? They got that money from the COVID relief funds. So they could have spent money on their child's education. They could have bought internet for the house. They could have had a computer for their kid, or maybe they did and they just didn't care and wanted the school to provide resources anyway. Either way, that's some greedy ass behavior on the parents' part. What are we supposed to do about it as teachers? What are we gonna do, huh? We're supposed to grind your kid and make them and force them to stay in school? They're not gonna do that. We're not legally obligated to bind your kid to this school and make them stay after class and do their work. That's your job as a parent. Your job is to make sure that they do all their schoolwork. And that's your business and your responsibility. And if as a parent, if you can't keep up with that responsibility, then you shouldn't be a parent in the first place.